Hello everyone, my name is Clara and together with my friend Anya we have created this channel to spread information about international mobility and generally about the topic of living abroad. Today we are happy to introduce you to two of our friends, Li and Yuna, who are currently living, working and studying in Warsaw. They are originally from South Korea and we have approached them to talk a little bit about their experiences of living in Poland. But we also talk about some societal aspects such as beauty standards or working culture. The interview was recorded in January 22 and we're very happy to finally show it to you guys. Anyway, we hope you all enjoyed this interview. My name is Lee and I'm from South Korea. I'm currently studying international relations at the University of Warsaw. Oh, I'm 26. In Korean age, I'm 24 in international. We have this different way of measuring the age. Basically, you're one year old when you're born and also every year you're getting one year regardless of your birthday. Or warning that I just have a lot of negative experiences as well. Oh, I yeah. put it out there, you know, just in case yeah. somebody want to really want to know how things actually are. Great experiences as well. I think I've had a lot of great people, uh, a lot of great places to go to, to spend your time with your friends. Yeah, I yeah. think it's in general, a good country to study. So hi, I'm Yuna. I'm also from South Korea and now I'm turning 26. What else? I am currently working for international company. I arrived October 2020, so it's been less than one and a half years so far. How about you, Lee? How long are you? Uh, 2018. 2018, so it's been like uh, almost four years now. There's a long story, but I'll just keep with the short version. You know, I was supposed to study in America, right? Because I went to high school there. I actually got accepted to the university. I got my student visa, the F1, uh, you know, I paid all the fees. And then the plan just kind of kind of got changed. I came to Europe for like a month and, you know, I just decided that it might not be bad to study in Europe as well. And the tuition was like 10 times cheaper. So, you know, oh, yeah. I just thought it might be more economic. <laughs> not a bad choice because, you know, I've always wanted to live in Europe and I really got to experience all this uh, European culture. And... Yeah, actually, that's a good question because whenever I meet and get to know some Polish people, they're really curious if I had any option, like personal option to choose a country for Poland specifically. So the first year, like I worked for Korean team under like multinational companies. They desperately needed Korean native. That's why I was able to be in Poland in my first year. Long story short, I haven't had any choice. But after one year, I also had another option to relocate and transfer to a local Polish team. I spontaneously decided to transfer. I think my second year, it's my choice. The first year, not at all. Honestly, I still remember uh, looking at the policy culture for the first time. I think I was really impressed. It's magnificent, you know, like uh, the structure of it, the, how big it is. Actually, I think Poland is one of the countries which is quite undervalued, especially from Korean. The first impression of Warsaw, Poland, was much above my expectation. I really like enjoying living and working here compared to where I have been for my entire life in Korea. Way more developed country than I expected. Especially Warsaw itself is really far from their type of Poland. It's really developed, full of like skyscrapers. It's very advanced city. I'd say the old town. I think it was uh, really impressive and you know it was really European looking. It was nothing like what I've seen before in my life. It surprised me which is really small and something's very normal to you guys, but uh, I was shocked when the door was opening on the top like this. Depending on when you position your uh, the door now, I was like, did I break the door? <laughs> is mainly kind of bland. There is not like certain outstanding taste that I can feel. But you know, once I'm used to and know how to enjoy that kind of like bland taste, I think I like it. And then now probably I will feel kind of awkward or I will feel Korean food will be too much because normally Korean food puts a lot of, a lot of spices. We're only attracted by very strong taste. I think I need to find the balance. Well, my favorite was gulas because okay. it had a lot of meat and you know the sauce was pretty great and tasty. Like Yuna said, most of the food in Poland are kind of plain. 
but that dish has a lot of flavor to it. And also, I like uh, one of those pierogies with cheese in it, mm -hmm. or potatoes. And also the, the goat cheese uh, that you can get from the Christmas market, I think. They're very stringy when you chew on it. Cranberry sauce, I find this quite nice. Actually, I saw the post about how Polish people think about Polish food. What made me interested was general Polish people think only like mom's homemade Polish food is uh, real Polish food, is it correct? Yes, that the food mm -hmm. of your mom tastes the best, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, probably I'm I'm pretty sure Lee also experienced like Christmas dinner. Yeah, I, did, I, did. I mean it was amazing. Like as you know, I was in shock with 12 other cuisines. Some of the like foods were very casual so that I can easily try in most of Polish restaurants in Warsaw. But there are also like very unique cuisines that I've never ever tried. I like it, but overall they are like bland. But I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like like bland taste right now. For me, Christmas is kind of like spending with your friends, uh, your loved ones, not with your family. So they were just kind of a little boring because I don't like family gatherings. You know, you gotta be very polite and stuff. It wasn't for me. <laughs> We don't really do anything special, uh, except we have a lot of decorations out in the public. But I think we spend it with our friends, with you know, loved ones. And then all the restaurants, bars, malls, everything are open. Probably it's the peak season. Most of people, especially young generations, come out of house. They are more willing to spend Christmas and celebrate with so many parties and events rather than with family, mm. which is not really good at some point. I think like Christmas in Poland. Like the, the, all the relatives, families can reunite under those kind of a small religious procedure with a, a little bit of praying. It's a good, you know, measure like to reunite all the family members together because in Korea we don't have those kind of procedures at all for Christmas. Yeah, well, we have Chuseok and Myeongdara instead. Mm -hmm. so I think uh, my obsession for Korean food is kind of high. I've got to have it trying all of the Korean restaurants wherever I go in Poland. It's really interesting. The restaurants in Warsaw are really nice. Some of the restaurants are more focusing on the westernized taste. But yeah, so I personally prefer the ones with authentic taste in Warsaw. And there are quite a couple of uh, restaurants we can recommend. Does it taste the same like they would? back in South Korea because most of the Korean restaurants are in Warsaw at least are owned by Koreans so don't really have any complaints. Korean beauty standard is really, really formalized. We all know like this is considered beautiful. Probably younger people are really chasing the standardized beauty. How you look good is considered one of the top values in Korea, which is not really good, not really nice. But I think it's true. And then Korean plastic surgery techniques are also the word best. Yeah, I think the Korean beauty standard is very standardized. You know, there's a certain right set of beauty that's got to fit into the, the box. Really strange. I think everybody has this charm, right? Um, everybody looks different, they have their charm, but you know, I think in Korean society, a lot of people want to change their eye into a more uh, standard, good-looking eyes. I don't think it's a very positive thing. But in Europe, I think it's rather more uh, the personal charm. You know, Western countries, including Poland, I can recognize they have standardized beauty, of course. Compared to the level of standardized, it's totally different. Korea, including other Asian countries, it's like a really firm. But in EU or other like, American countries, they also have like their preferences but outside of those standard is also highly acceptable I think it's not about Polish people, but it's more like people in Warsaw. The cold, distant, uh, hard to really approach. Yeah, that was my stereotype, man. True. Yeah. The kind of individual, but most of the time. So you say about Warsaw, did you experience something different in other cities? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I really love oh, my yeah. experience in Poznan, Froslo. People are very friendly and nice. I think I was quite shocked because I lived most of the time in Warsaw. 
So I just thought all the Polish people are just, uh, you know, cold and distant and went to the other city. Uh, they were very hospitable. Like, I was really shocked and, you know, it was really lovely. Probably the further cities from Warsaw, they have lack of experiences to meet foreigners. They are just really welcoming us. They don't hesitate to help us out whenever we ask for direction or something. I, I really feel differences from people outside of Warsaw about their hospitality. There's not much to do, not many events. Mm. Like you go out and a lot of things are pretty much the same, you know. Um, what I realized after one year in Poland, the smart way that I can enjoy a life in Poland, learning how to enjoy in nature. Most of Poles are very like, sporty. They really know how to enjoy in nature, go on a hiking, kayaking in the summer. I was born and raised in a city, which is really crowded. We always, always rely on those kind of some entertainment places and some restaurants or fun places to go and pay and have fun there. It was kind of challenging, especially in the winter. I literally don't know how to kill my time. Uh, I'll say I have a very positive opinion about studying in Poland because uh, the faculty at my university, they're very professional and nice, uh, very knowledgeable as well. And most of the professors were very helpful uh, when it comes to, uh, let's say, I don't understand a topic. They're more than happy to like, answer to you, taking like 20, 30 minutes of their time through email, in person. They're very happy to teach, you know, and also uh, most of them speaks very proficient English. That was great. That's really nice part that uh, Korean university and faculties have to learn from because we are still stick to very, very old like hierarchy structure between professor and student. Even though we paid um, kind of high for tuition fee, we are really hesitant. Sometimes we are scared of reaching them out to ask some question. It's never going to be a casual relationship. You know, most of like Asian countries in general, they have longer working hours, for example, starting with nine hours. We have less day off. Also, the hierarchy, not only from school, but also most of the organization. Hierarchy is a big part that many employees are stressed out. Work and life balance wise, it's literally incomparable. One thing I was in culture shock is even my Polish boss encouraged me, other like teammates, to just sign off the computer and then have fun or have time with your family. But you know, in Korea, no. The longer hour you work, you are considered a prestigious employee. So you have more chances to promote. I would never regret about my decision to come and work in Poland because of my work and life balance. It's really amazing. Um, it's a shame that I didn't like really learn and understand about the language. I mean, the cultural part like organically absorbed without much effort as far as we like settle down here. But yeah, the language part, I heard so many stereotypes about the difficulty level of Polish. So I was kind of scared to even begin. But yeah, it's always in my mind that I have to do. Part, yeah. And then uh, the tone, like a high tone, mm -hmm. and the pronunciation itself is really, really, really hard. Something that happened that when I was in Gdansk, uh, I was in a bar playing some billiard, minding my business. Some guy just came up to me, like uh, hit my uh, the stick, and I went up to him, like uh, asking, like, "What should do that for? Maybe uh, you should say sorry." And he just got super angry. All of his friends like get around me, and just uh, started like shouting, slurring, and you know, I think at so one point I think I heard like "Go back to your country." And also like a uh, police came, and they literally didn't do anything. So I find quite disturbing the fact that they don't really care. But you know, as a person that never been in such country, but different culture differences. I thought maybe they would give me some of the assistance, you know, because it's not my country and like I was the victim. Like I had like complete opposite experience back in Turkey. Like every time I go there, people are very friendly, they're very helpful. So like, you know, I, I really uh, was really easy for me to like get, get adjusted to the culture and learn about mm -hmm. the culture. But since you guys don't really have that, I think a lot of international people living in Poland doesn't really feel the necessity to learn Polish or their, you know, your culture. I, you know, a lot of Polish people, they ask my friends and me, like, if we speak any Polish, and they usually say no, like most of my mm -hmm. international 
friends they don't speak a word of Polish because they never got a chance to like make uh, Polish friends or you know like learn about their culture because uh, people are very distant kind of cold so yeah I just always the, the simple kindness is not very hard the yeah, more yeah. that I think uh, it'll be better for both parties you know, international and uh, the locals yeah definitely sorry to hear you Fred like oh. all <laughs> uh, bad things happen everywhere I think I had bad experience in Turkey uh, Australia America so it's normal but uh, yeah this is what I thought about here we'd like to end the interview. Please remember that those were perspectives of only two people living in Poland. Experiences and impressions will differ from person to person. However, we find it very interesting to learn about a different point of view. How about you? Please let us know in the comments down below. And also remember to say a big thank you to our guests for sharing their time and experiences. Hopefully see you soon in the next one.